So for this problem, um, this is an integral, and what we'll try is u substitution. So let's say u is x minus 1, and that's what you always want to try. You always want to try u as the denominator, or at least inside the denominator. Um, so u is equal to x minus 1. So we take the derivative of that, so it's du is equal to dx. Derivative of x is just 1 dx. So then, but the thing is, we can't have two variables. We can't have, so right now we have u right here, but we have two x's. We need to get rid of those two x's. Like we have the u right here, but we need to get these two guys. So we need something for x. So for x, what we can do is manipulate this equation right here. So let's add plus 1 to both sides of this equation. So we get u plus 1. If we add 1 right here, plus 1 cancels out with the minus 1. So we get x. So we can substitute u plus 1 for x right here. And that's what I got here. Uh, like I said, u equals x minus 1. So I got u cubed here. Now for the final one, x minus 2, we take the same equation and we try to get x minus 2. So we subtract 1 from each side, so it'll become u minus 1, and u minus 1 here, so it'll be x minus 2. Uh, now since we, can, we have something for that, we can substitute u minus 1, and then now we have all u's. So now since we have all u's, what can we do? Well, we can, fact, we can um, expand this. So, so how does that work? Well, all I'm going to do is just some simple math. Foil it out. So u times u is u squared. Uh, u times negative 1 is negative u. Uh, 1 times u is u. Uh, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then negative u and u cancel out, so you get u squared minus 1. So now since we have that, we can simplify it even more. So this is the same, when you have something on the denominator and you want to bring it to the top, uh, you can make it a negative exponent to represent that. So u negative third to the negative third power is the same as 1 over u to the, po uh, u to the power 3. So now since we have that, we can multiply it across. So what happens when you multiply exponents? You simply add them. So negative 3 plus 2 will be negative 1. And negative uh, 1 times u to the negative 3 will just be negative u to the negative 3, du. So after you do that, uh, we can simplify it. So u to the negative 1, you can represent that as 1 over u. And then these two are exactly the same thing. And keep that. Now we can finally do our actual integration. So it, you have to memorize this, but the integral of 1 to the u, 1 over u, is ln u. And for this one, this is the integral power rule. So for this, what you do is you add 1 to the exponent, so it's going to be negative 2, then it's going to be 1 over your new exponent. So 1 over negative 2. And then remember that it's a, there's the subtraction here. This is independent of the actual integration. So it's uh, the minus sign and then the actual integration, which was u, you add 1, so it's going to be negative 2, 1 over the actual new exponent, so that's going to be negative 2, and so you come down, and then the other thing to remember is to plug in the original u, and remember that these two cancel to make a positive, so you plug in the original, which was u is equal to x minus 1, so you plug in x minus 1 for u, and the negatives cancel to make a positive, 1 half, x minus 1, negative 2. And then I don't know about your professors, but if they prefer the, the, that you don't have a negative exponent, just uh, you can pull it down to the bottom. So it'll be 1 over 2 times x minus 1 squared, ln x minus 1, and don't forget the c. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.